Okay, folks, on the back of the three vids we did around the game last night on uh, Wolves and ooh, Man United. How could I forget that? We're not about Man United. That's what I'm on it for. I get stupid sometimes. My mind is in other places. I'm thinking all the other, vid all the other videos I'm going to do shortly. Yes, I'm thinking last night. I went to bed on it last night. I knew I was right before I went to bed, but I've made up my mind now. I'm thinking to myself this. There's obviously lots of players we need out of the club. There's obviously some new players we need in. Players, the right players with the right mentality. But I'm thinking last night, there's two players there that I can see over the next couple of years playing a big part for the club, as in playing lots of games. And they are Anana and Anthony. And I'm thinking to myself, I already do know that we've got ground to make up on the top two or three. That goes without saying. We can see that when we look at the table. But if we consistently play Anthony and Anana, I cannot see how we can move on. I really, really, really can't. I think even now we're at the stage where we've got to look to cut our losses because they're just not good enough. Now, nobody but me wants to be proved wrong. I so much want to be proved wrong and that one of them or both of them starts doing it on a weekly basis and ends up being brilliant for my club. That's what I want, but I just cannot see with these two. I can't, honestly. I think what United need, as well as getting people like Iggy out there, well, he's going now because his contract's run down. As I've said, he needs to go. I know many of you like Weber Saka, but... He needs to go. There's a few that need to go. But I think when old Jim's putting this team together, I think he needs a man in Havana. Well, not Havana. I can't think of anywhere in Saudi. I can't think of a place there. He needs a Saudi contact. And the club, our club at the moment, needs a Saudi contact. Somebody that we can talk to on a regular basis and say, we've got this player here. He's worth a few quid. We paid a lot of money for him. We know we're not going to get the money for him anywhere else or anywhere near what we paid for him because we've been stupid. But we don't want to sell him into Europe because we'll get buttons. Will you take him off our hands for at least a decent fee? And he'll be one of your better players there because it's a crap league. That's what we need. And your Ananas and your Antonies and your Wambasakas and your Marshalls. Was, I've said he's going anyway into your diggy. That kind of player, that's where they can find a new home. A place where we're never going to see him again and they're not going to have to darken our doors because they're just not good enough. Because I fear that if we do get rid of them and Eric does miss his, admit his mistakes, I think if they go back to Europe... the the prices that we're going to get from are going to plummet drastically based on what we've seen here. Because obviously we, we overpaid for them anyway, but they've been crap. So for me, they've just got to go. Anana and Anthony, for me, out the club. I, I just I just can't see us winning things with pe people like that as the, some of the cornerstones in our team. I can't, honestly. I really, really can't. I said last night before the game, United's team looked really good. And on paper, it's the best I've seen all year. I said the only person that wouldn't be in the team was Onana. And again, last night he wasn't great in some parts. He didn't have a lot to do, but some of the things he did, he did badly yet again. I, I just worry about it. Maybe maybe he's going to turn a corner. I don't know. I don't know. He couldn't have been that bad. In, he looked brilliant at the European Cup final, Champions League final, whatever you want to call it. But it's the first time I'd really seen him. I don't watch a lot of European football unless United are in it and they've been out of things a lot of late so I don't tend to watch as much as, other, as others do I didn't really know him but I was impressed in that game but for United, oh my god honestly just doesn't command the area bats everything away but bats it away badly no conviction, no strength to what he does the ball hits him here, hits him here hits him all over everywhere but he doesn't save much he doesn't actually save much and he doesn't seem to be able to catch a ball he pats everything down and then catches it crazy I don't know, he's not for me. And Anthony, as I say, I'm just fed up of him running up these dark alleys and thinking the ball's his own and he's not allowed to pass it or not supposed to pass it. Rasmus must be absolutely pulling his hair out. By the way, Rasmus, cracking interview with you last night, my old son. Thought he spoke really, really, really well on BT. Really liked it. And I like Rasmus's thoughts. If they, if I'm not where they want me to be when they pass it, they can have a right go at me because that's down to me. But I want to be able to have a go at them when they don't pass it. Well, I'll tell you what, Rasmus you'll be having to go at them a lot more than they've been having to go at you these last three months. Because you've tried and you've never stopped running and getting in these positions. They just don't find you. They don't, honestly, they really don't. But anyway, yeah, for me, I've rubbed it on. Get rid of them both.